Hi, Doris. Welcome to your reading. This is for Doris, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Two of Wands, yeah. You're holding back from someone, okay? But there's a decision that's need to, need to be made. I think you're half and half out. You haven't left the building yet, but there's something that you're contemplating on. You have to career path to, uh, not career, you have two paths to choose from. Either this could be two people, I'm not getting that too much, but this could be two people or this could just be, do I want to continue being with this person or not? Looks like you're holding back from someone. You're in the state of shutdown right now. Wow, <laughs> another two, see? Someone's coming in probably to balance out the situation with you. And you're going to have to make a decision about whether you want to be with this person or not. Someone's trying to balance the situation, trying to weigh out the pros and cons. I'm getting more like someone who's just coming in, taking control of the situation, you know, setting healthy boundaries. But this is someone who's trying to, uh, someone's really uh, stepping up their game, wanting to take control of the connection or, this, uh, or the uh, relationship. Probably this person's taken too much time to come back towards you, okay? And they were constantly juggling you. And you, they pushed you to a point of where you need to make a decision about them. See how defensive you are with the seven of wands here. You feel the need to guard yourself, protect yourself, okay? You feel the need to hold your ground and stand up for what you think is right. There's something that you think is right and you're being very stubborn about it. But yeah, very defensive. It's like, I know what I want and I'm going to do it that way. I am right. Something like that. Because this is not fighting other people. This is more like standing up for yourself, you know, protecting yourself from something. You probably even block this person out, okay? You have the strength here. So we do have the strength here. I feel that there's someone here who is very, very willing and determined to make this happen with you, okay? There's a lot of attraction that this person has towards you. This person is very attracted to you, okay? There's a lot of passion, a lot of energy, okay? And they're trying to make that big, bold move towards you. See the king of wands here? Someone's finally ready to step up the game. This person's no more laid back, okay? They're not waiting or dependent on you to make the move. They're ready to come towards you. But I think you're the one here with the two of wands and two of pentacles. You're trying, you're a little indecisive about something. Trying to weigh out the pros and cons about whether you want to continue with this person or whether you want to be with this person or not. Something like that. Uh, yeah five of wands that could be i mean i think this person i'm getting more like this person's ready to fight for you maybe earlier this person didn't make those moves okay this was someone who was a coward who was trying to get the easy way out copying out of hard work or copying out of making that bold decision you know to fight for this but right now with the five of wands and the ace of cups yeah, this person wants a brand new beginning with you in love they're ready to open up, say, page of cups. They're coming in with that emotional communication or at least they're ready to open up emotionally, express themselves. I think they're ready to fight for this relationship. But by the time they come in, I think you're the one who's in two minds here. I don't get this as them. I get this as you and I get this patch as them, you know, like who's like very determined and they're like, okay, I know what I need to do. I'm not going to give up on you and I'm ready to make that big move. There could be a lot of people involved, you know, say three of pentacles. Let's build, let's talk, let's work on this. Someone's very serious about you, Doris. They're very serious about you. This is collaborating, teamwork, right? Probably this was a one-sided situation before. Maybe this was someone who wasn't taking a risk before, you know? For the fool here, this person probably thought you were a very, it was a very risky relationship to be with you. Or they were just trying to, you know, like uh, constantly, you know, contemplating. Or probably they could even drop you off, you know, once... Probably they could have just let you go because they thought this was just not not worth it. Not worth it in the sense, not worth the risk. Okay, but now they're coming in. They don't have the fear of the unknown anymore. They probably had a lot of, you know, doubts about this relationship or working with you or making things happen with you. But now, with the strength here, I feel this person's ready to make it work out, okay? They're putting in all those animal instincts that they have, the bravery, the courage, the passion, the, you know, the anger, whatever. They're working in harmony with it. And they're like, whoever comes in between, right? I'm ready to do this with you. How cool is that? I think this person, I'm getting like that awakening, that awakened to you, to this relationship, to this connection. You're the one who's constantly contemplating, I think. You're in two minds. But they're coming in to work this out with you. 
they're going to come in to have that talk, that conversation. How do we move on to the next level? Or how do we take this to the next level? Tell me more. See, you're living in a lot of regret here. This person just has a lot of regrets about what happened in the past here with the five of cups here. I'm getting... I'm also getting that you have a lot of regrets about what happened in the past. You're more focused on what did work out rather than focus on what can still work out within this connection. Five of Cups is not like the Eight of Cups, okay, where it's just gone, done, dusted. It's more like all is not lost. It is a disappointing situation, but I feel you're the one here with the Five of Cups here, okay, who's still not sure when this person comes in or rather not sure within this connection because we have the nine of wands yeah i feel this is you who's very guarded here you have trust issues with this person because of whatever you went through in the past with this person or you could have had trust issues opening up to this person now because you could have been very vulnerable to this person you know but they're coming in now maybe this was someone non-committal someone non-committal someone who resisted that commitment who you wanted longevity from them, okay? You wanted something stable, something committed, and this person was very focused on themselves, their career, their goals. It was all about them. It was all like me, 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 me. And you, on the other hand, you were very, very open to this person, you know? I think you're very close off to this person. That state of shutdown is what I'm getting, you know? Like the four of pentacles. You're not ready to open up. You're literally blocking your heart chakra. You're not wanting to be vulnerable to this person anymore. Because this could be something that is, has made you very, very upset, you know, very upset. So they're coming in with that king of pentacles, with that stability. They're ready to focus on you now and ready to make you a priority. Tell me more. I'm getting someone who's ready to fight for this connection. But with the moon here, there's this lack of clarity here. The moon is all about deception, right? It's all about your illusions, your belief system, etc. And that could be one of the reasons why this, when this person comes in, you're not very sure if you want this person. I'm sorry, I'm just like, you're not very sure if you want this person back. So let me tell you something about the moon, okay? The moon is illusions. It's our beliefs. It's our viewpoint. It's the way we look at this person. It's all about our stresses our fears, anxieties, but all that has to do with our past experiences, okay? So I feel that you're now in two minds right now and this disappointment, I think you're more focused on the disappointment because this is crying was spilled milk. That's one of the reasons why you still feel there's something hidden. This person either has a hidden agenda or you just have security issues with this person. You're very insecure in this relationship with this person. And I feel you're taking, it, you're taking a very logical step that right now, you know? You're choosing not to show your emotions to this person, but you want to be very strict, you know, with those rules, regulations, wanting things the correct way and not wanting your emotions to overpower you this time. Because with the moon here, you're wanting to believe uh, something that is not real. You know, the moon has nothing to do with reality. Like I said before, the moon is all about what you think is happening, whereas it is absolutely different from your reality. Okay. See, three of swords, yeah, there's this heartache, that heartache, heartache, heart, heartache, heartbreak, okay? This person wants a brand new beginning with you, okay? Honestly, I don't think you're the only one hurting. I think they're the one hurting too. And that's why they're coming in to make up. They're coming to make up for this. I'm getting that realization from this person, okay? Like, yeah, all right, I screwed up, I messed up. Can we do this again? You're the one who's in that, living in that fear, you know, of whether you should give this person a second chance or not. Because you doubt this. You doubt this, you know. Tell me what is the outcome for Taurus in here for this week? Tell me what is the outcome. Death. Something's ending here for the death here. But I do see a reconciliation happening with the death here. Something's coming to an end here. This does not have to be a relationship that comes to an end. This is death and rebirth, which means that something that no longer serves you is ending. You're putting an end to it. You're putting a rest to it. And this is a rebirth of a connection, rebirth of a relationship. Something that's starting brand new. Okay. 
could be negative thought patterns, could be a person, place, thing, anything, anything that keeps you, uh, that makes you feel that, you know, uh, very drained out. But the death is starting a new chapter in your life, okay? It's, you know what I'm getting? Um, could be you, could be them, but someone was resisting an ending, okay, to something that was inevitable. Like, it had to end. You were just dragging a dead situation. But finally, this person's coming in with that entire transformation. Someone's coming towards you absolutely changed 180 degrees. You're not going to recognize this person. Four of Pentacles. But it looks like you're a little fearful of this person with the Four of Pentacles here. Maybe this person's very codependent on you because we have the devil here. This person could be very, very obsessed with you, okay? This, is a, this could be a very obsessive connection. Maybe this person's very addicted to you, all right? Because we do have the devil here and the Four of Pentacles. I think they're very obsessed and they're not going to let you go. They want you anyhow. And this time they're coming in with that, you know, I'm going to fight for this and I'm not going to give up. I like the Three of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, you know. This is someone doing it very logically, okay? But uh, offering a lot of security and stability, longevity, like I said. Something to be reliable upon. I think you're the one with the moon here where you feel that there's this lack of clarity. Or you just feel you're just sailing into a boat and you just don't know where it's going, okay? The moon is again lack of clarity, right? I think you just are going through with your intuition. Because with the three of swords here, there's still a lot of stress out here, okay? Maybe this person is not coming in to clarify because I don't see that ace of swords where there's this clarity of communication, where there's this breakthrough where you guys are sitting down and talking about what went wrong in the past and let's make up for this. Maybe I'm thinking that maybe this person just comes and they're like, you know what, okay, let's do this. And you're like, what the hell? We went through so much in the past, don't you want to talk about it, etc., okay? And probably this person is not someone who wants to, you know, uh, dig back in the past and talk about everything. They're just wanting to come and make up for it. Let's just make this happen. Something like that. And I think that's what's hurting you. The three of swords. You're like, you're not even acknowledging the fact of whatever went back in the past and how hurt I was or how upset I was. And I think that's what's getting you so upset. Because that's why you're with the four of pentacles, you're still holding back from this person. This person refuses to talk about what went wrong, you know, or how they can, how talking about a solution to what went wrong in the past so that it doesn't repeat again. Probably for them, they're like, you know what, I don't care what happens, we're making this happen. But for you, it's like, let's just at least talk about what went wrong in the past, you know. And that's something that's making you um, um, in this, keeping you in this place of where you don't want to open up. But there is a transformation here. This person's completely changed when they're coming towards you, okay? Maybe they realize their mistakes, but they're not ready to talk about it. Because see, seven of wands, if someone's very defensive out here, they feel the need to protect themselves. You know, there's this guard that they've built. Not the nine of wands, but trust issues. But this is someone where I cannot completely open myself and, you know, like, okay, yeah, I was wrong. I'm sorry about that. I, don't, I, I think that's what this person is doing. I'm giving you the stability, the security, etc. But when it comes to opening up and talking about it, that's what puts you into doubts. That's what puts you in those two minds. Like, I mean, are you even going to acknowledge what happened in the past? So that's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this reading resonates with you. Do like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Next time. Bye-bye.